Hello and welcome back to my studio. Well, would you like to see a still life painting? Something simple but fun, like a few pears? Well, this is the sort of thing I often paint when I'm taking a break from landscape painting. It's about just getting a bit of a change and some variety, and I apply the same ideas and approaches to whatever subject I paint. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick study of a still life painting and maybe it will inspire you i hope to try one out for yourself let's have a look now i do encourage you to try and paint different subjects mix things up a bit just a bit of variation if you always paint portraits paint a landscape paint a still life paint something that is out of your typical subject. For me on my off days I'm probably going to paint probably some figures or a couple of still life paintings. Something really quick. I'll raid the kitchen, find a few things or you just paint it out of your head from memory and that's also a good test and an exercise for you to do. And in fact in this case I did just that. Just relying on my memory from painting these pairs, I did another study and try to recall the steps, try to recall the sort of things that perhaps sometimes you come out from visiting a place or you've been outdoors, you need to recall some of those details that uh, you perhaps didn't record with a camera or a sketchbook. Okay, let's have a look at this uh, little still life painting and uh, see how it turned out. Okay, I'm using my usual palette of colors, this time in oils, and I'm going to go through a quick composition, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue to make this dark. And I'm gonna put these three pairs, one behind the other, and uh, just paint them in. Try to work quickly, try to work directly, just scoop up your paint, Put it down and uh, let your, I guess, your uh, inspiration go with you. Try and remember, as I'm doing here, I'm doing this painting by memory. And it's a good exercise just to train yourself to actually look closely at details, take them in, and uh, try to reproduce those details. But... As always, you'll be leaving out a lot of unnecessary information. So really good exercise to learn and remember what's important. Using the paint to suggest direction of light from left to right. So there'll be a shadow on the right hand side of the pairs. Mostly using yellow ochre to start off the colors. Yellow ochre, some cerulean blue for the shadows and yellow oak is the base color of the pair. Now putting in some, just finishing these shadow sides before I get into the lights. There's a shadow cast from one pair onto the other. So this is part of the cast shadow. Normally I wouldn't have a third pair like that, just uh, showing halfway on the edge of the, the panel. But this is, as I said, an exercise. It's a fun thing to do when you're in between subjects and you want to just do a warm up exercise. You could do this in about 20 minutes, say, before you get into your usual painting uh, routine. Using a bit of lemon yellow with the yellow ochre now to get a lighter, still a middle value. It's not the lightest light, but it's a light middle value in the light family of values. So these would be the parts of the pair where the light is striking directly. Notice also I don't do the pair as a, a a sort of a circular color I, I kind of chop out the outline 
and then as I go, I may just start to refine those outlines and make them a little more rounded. Background color, I'm choosing kind of a turquoisey green, a bit more yellow. Yeah, I suppose in the background and then the foreground will be a bit more blue. It's all also color harmony using a few colors for the entire scene. Makes all the colors harmonize and uh, look unified as well. I'm not using any mediums, just paint straight out the tube onto the palette and mix it as you require. You can see I just sort of drag the paint around, mix a little from one end to the other. Here applying the foreground in a turquoise blue with cerulean and lemon yellow, with a little bit of that yellow ochre being caught up in it as well. Using a bristle brush, which, which does make it easier to move the paint around without any medium because the bristle's nice and strong to handle thicker oil paint. Having said that, my paints are still fairly loose. Straight out the tube, I'm using uh, Van Gogh colors for this painting and a few Maya Mary colors as well. Maya Mary Classico, so all good student paints. I'll just use a little bit of burnt sienna for the stems of the pears in case you're wondering. And now bringing in more uh, color towards the highlight colors. A bit more yellow. This is cadmium yellow. A little bit of white to increase that value. So in true oil painting tradition, and I guess this will also apply to any opaque medium like acrylics and gouache. I'm working from the dark colors to the lighter colors. So you've got to get your dark values all established and then you get it in your lighter colors on top. So that's the, the pairs pretty much done now. I'm just refining some of the shapes, trying to get a sense of the dimension of the pairs, the rounded quality. Also, I'm just getting sure th that the lights and shadows are reading correctly. And a few touches of highlight. Softening these shadow edges just a little. Re-establishing the cast shadow on the second pair.
I'm trying to bring in a little bit of reflected color into the foreground and into the background. And now the shadows, adding a little more blue just to give the shadows a little touch of a vibrancy as well. A little bit of that reflected color I was talking about into the foreground. So that's more or less it. I'll just sign that off and uh, yeah, now try something out for yourself. Have fun with your still life painting. Well, I had fun doing this painting and sometimes I'll do three or four studies like this in a row and just paint through the evening or in an afternoon and do a whole lot of these just to maybe loosen up a bit before trying something new or as I said, just a break from the same old subject. And it's a nice way to just refresh and as I said, relax a little, that's important. So try these out, go and see what you can find, set it up and do a little still life painting. Now don't forget, there's also your free course for you up here to have a close look at my art school and take up a few free lessons as well. And don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications so you don't miss another YouTube video coming up soon. Until next time, happy painting and cheers for now. Mm -hmm.